Hello everyone. I'm not back, but Black Friday happened and as you can see, I went in. And there are still some shops that I'm waiting for, but since most of them came in and I really wanted to organize this stuff and not get overwhelmed by the rest that might be coming, I figured I would share this haul. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm still enjoying planning on my own for now, so maybe I'll come back in 2021 with some new plan with me. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this haul and as always, I'll try to leave as much links below for the shops that I'm using today. So Simply Gold is the first shop that I'll share just because they have very little stuff and most of it is washi tapes. I actually stopped my subscription for Simply Gold a while back just because I have so much washi that I haven't been using and I didn't want to keep having so much in my collection. As it kept growing, I was finding myself using less and less, but this is a little freebie that it comes with usually. Here's a rose gold freebie that I came with. This one's really cute. Some heart stickers in a kind of leopard print. And then the journaling card, which is in a gold foil. And onto the things that I ordered. I saw this pen. And I really like the jelly roll, so I just wanted to keep this one in my collection. I think it's just a plain black color. And onto the washi tapes, I have quite a few. Like I said, I haven't bought from her shop for a while, so I only got these just because they really sparked my interest and I felt like they could go into a lot of different spreads. This one I did not order, but it came into my package, so I wonder if she was just handing out random freebies, but it looks like it's white with a kind of cracked silver foil. Moving on. This is a white with a black bow. Black with a black bow. That's kind of hard to see, but I love these so much. This one's a silver striped with silver balls. This one's white on white. Let's see, these are kind of opposites of each other. Then moving on to the tiny bowls. I think this was an accident, but I must have ordered two of them with the white and then black, and then the opposite black with white. And finally, some of the five milliliters. I have these two that are pretty similar, except for this one is silver foil, and then this one is no foil. And then this last one, it's white on black and then black on white. And that's all the ones I got from Simply Gilded. As you can see, I just wanted these just because they were all silver, white, or black, and I thought that they would match with a lot of different spreads. Next shop is a smaller shop, a smaller order, I mean. I've never purchased from them before, but they're called Peachy Plans, and I think I ordered them off of Etsy. There's a little freebie that came with the order. And this is one of the PR girls for bad plans. So this is the freebie that hers comes with. And I just got a few stickers. The one that I um, actually got it for is actually this one. I forget who I saw using this, but I thought this was super cute to mark voting. And then this is just a simple tattoo one. I don't see a lot of tattoo, um, tattoo stickers anywhere. So I thought I would pick these up since they're really plain. And I showed this earlier, but this is just some cell phones. And I thought this would be plain enough to add into different spreads. So just a small order, but mostly it was just for these voting booths, which I thought was really cute. The next shop I'm going to be talking about is going to be Sticker Guru. As you can see, I bought some washi tapes from her. These released pretty late at night, so this was actually a separate purchase from the one over here. So for these, I think these were motivational quotes. And this one's just some stars. This one's some borders. And these are some hearts. More borders and some bows. I might have bought two of each now that I'm thinking about it, but some hearts and these are more motivational quotes. And this is one of the freebies I got from OG Planner. 
mentioning her name. Got a gold freebie. And this is just a regular freebie I think all the orders came with. This one's in a rose gold. Leans more on the pink side. Another freebie. This one's gold foiled. And then this, I think all the orders came with this little small freebies from different shops. There's a little gingerbread man. Dulceplanner.com. These are really cute. This is from Bella Rosa. Nicole Hutch Designs. This one's from Sticky Perks. These are pretty cute. Some flat lays that are pretty cute. This is from Sweet Tea Plans. All these are baking ones, it looks like. I know these are supposed to be Chinese custards. That's what they look like to me. And then this one's from Maria Italian Plans. And I'm pretty picky about using um, character stickers. So I might not use this one as much, but the snowflakes are pretty universal. And then... She had some grab bags that were on sale, and I figured that I would try to see what they would come. I've never gotten a grab bag from her before. So this one looks like it comes with different colored foils, but here's a gold one, gold headers. This is her rose gold, gold, silver. I actually don't play Animal Crossing, but I do have it but I have the older version, not the new one that everyone plays. Silver foil. These are some pretty date covers. Some rose gold. And then some gold washi overlay, as well as rose gold. The next one. The grab bag before was just a regular grab bag. These, I guess, are the glitch ones. And then this I must have used a promo code or maybe there was a mistake in this one and I included it because I think I already got the freebie for this order. This one I can tell why this one's given away for free. We can see the cut lines are definitely above it so we'll see how much use I get out of these but this one you can see there's a black mark there. This one you can see is kind of a hollow. Those are pretty some dates, rose gold, more rose gold overlays, full box overlays, and a washi overlay that's gold, and silver. And then this is the final one. This one also has the same freebie, so I wonder if they just both had mistakes in them. Those are pretty snowflakes. Rose gold letters. These are Christmas kind of half medallions, mandalas, some wreaths, full box overlay, quote full box overlay, gold, more gold snowflakes, and then two rose gold bottom washi overlays. And this was the journaling card that I came in. It's actually really thick. It feels really matte. So that was my big order from Sticker Guru. Moving on, I've got a small order from Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. There's a little freebie that the order came with. Oops. This is the journaling card. I also added it to the order. I think it was just a dollar extra and I thought it was cute. She was just handing out random envelopes. And then the reason why I made a purchase was because she was making some 2021 calendars that were all Disney themed or Disney princess themed. And I thought her drawings were really cute. So I thought I would pick one up. So you can see here, you can see Tinkerbell. I'm not sure the rest of those, if those are supposed to be anybody. But here's January, Once Upon a Dream, with Sleeping Beauty. And the bottom, it just has some simple date dots. Next one for February is Venture Outside Your Comfort Zone. 
March. Tiana. April with Aladdin. May with Mulan. June with Ariel. July has Moana. August has Lion King. Look at the details. The little animals down there. September has Belle. October has Cinderella. November, which is my birthday month, has Merida. And finally, December has Frozen. With a walk picking through. There's an overview of all the different ones. I thought it was so cute. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. And I really wanted to support Helen. Next shop I'll go over is Paper and Milk. And I just kept it inside because I thought her packaging is always super cute. And she handwrites all these names. So a little Maru still on the envelope. Still a little freebie that came with the orders. Another one for if you ordered over $35. And these are the things that I purchased. Some burgers and fries. Thought these were super cute. Some iced coffees with different phrases. Dagona coffee. Some matcha latte. Some happy marus. Different emotions. More different emotions, sad and angry. More emotions. This one's super happy. Some more voting ones. When the election came, I realized that I didn't have a lot of voting stickers, so I was trying to find some cute ones that would kind of go with different spreads, and this one was pretty neutral. It has red, white, and blue. Some cooking ones. This is probably how I usually look most of the time when I'm cooking. Some more emotions, annoyed. These nail polish ones I thought were super cute. And I love that the nail polish has PM for paper and milk. These are some true crime ones, which, if you know me, I do love true crime. And just some music ones. Okay, the next shop that I have is Station Stickers. Her shop was closed for a little bit, and then they started randomly selling it, um, I think once or twice a month, they would sell actual printed stickers. So I ended up getting some from Black Friday. So here's a little freebie that's gold foiled. And then I got some stickers like this, just because with the new planners that have been coming out, they don't have um, the month on them. So I figured when it is a change of month, I would want to use these maybe. And I got this in a silver foil and a black. Not sure what happened, but this is a holographic. I don't usually order holographic stickers, so it must have given you the option to pick um, a different foil. And I'm, I guess I must have picked no foil. Same thing with this one. It says light gold, but I must have picked no foil. These are just random sayings that you can place over full boxes or however you want to use them. Some Halloween ones, some winter ones, and these are silver foiled star headers, header overlays, and some of the dot ones, and some heart ones. And this was in my order. I guess she was just randomly giving these misfits new homes, so there is actually a, quite a bit in here. This one, which is a nut foil date night sticker script. This one's a rose gold. Random icons that are not foiled. These are just checklists. This is a bottom washi, which is really pretty. Some more icons. This looks like it might be from the same kit, as well as this one too. Okay, I have two shops left. Planner Choco, as well as OK Plans, and this little assortment of die cuts, I'm not sure who they're from, but it's either OK Plans or Planner Choco. So that's some gold foil die cuts of random cats and desserts. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Planner Choco first, just because, as you can see, something exciting at the end that I want to share more about. But Planner Choco, 
I honestly forgot about the shop and then during the sales I saw that she was doing a sale and I remembered that I really liked her um, her glitter headers and she was having a sale so I figured I would buy some from her since I was running out of my stash. And if you spend over a certain amount as well as um, she has this regular freebie just for Black Friday or Cyber Monday so it came with this. This was if you spent over 25 50 75 and 100 And like I said, I was running low on glitter headers and she has one of my favorites. So that's why I just went and splurged on a lot of them. So this one's called from the Be Mine kit. And it comes with the headers as well as some coordinating functional boxes. And this one I got two of. I'll show the rest of my glitter headers first. So this one is just some black, silver, and grays. Got three of those. These are some more light pinks. Blues. These are more Christmassy colors and then some light pink and then a light blue. And then these are her assortments of different colors. Here's her pinks and purples and grays, greens and blues, and then some of the red, orange, and yellows. And then another thing I saw was just that she has a lot of really cute um, foiled header overlays, so I got a bunch of those too. These are some silver st stars, silver hearts, simple bows, some dots. Smaller dots. These are like dazzles, I would say. And then these full boxes. Just got a bunch of these as well. So these are some dots, hearts, some stars, more dots, more dots, some hearts, stars. Dazzles that are all over the box. Some more dazzles in a different design. And more dazzles again. That's kind of all over. And like I said, I was getting more scripts. So I got these in silver. Because that is my preferred foil and what I'm most likely going to use in kits. And then these are just little decos. I actually imagined they would be bigger because I'm trying to decorate more of my monthly for next year. Especially with the blank planners, they don't have a lot on them, so I figured this would be cute to kind of um, sprinkle throughout the spread of the monthly spreads. So this one's from the Kit Sweet Home. Just has a lot of wintry vibes on there. This one's Ready to Party, so it has a lot of New Year's Eve or just party in general kind of deco. As well as this one's Midnight Kiss. So that's Planner Taco. And the last shop that I'm going to be sharing is going to be OK Plans. And OK Plans is one of the ones that also came out with their own planners. So first, let me show you guys the freebies. This one's the Black Friday freebie. Black Friday freebie part two. There's a $10 freebie. All orders get this freebie that has no foil. This is a $20 freebie. This was on, I think, in all the orders, but this is no foil. And then some date covers and the journaling card, which I thought was super pretty. Now on to the exciting thing. This is the planner that Kimberly has made this year. And next year, I think I do have more than three planners. So I'm going to have to really figure out what system I'm planning to do, but... I just needed, after seeing her layout, I needed to kind of compare and contrast it to the TKSP um, planner. So when you get this planner also, you can have the option of adding this kind of foil bundle to it. So I have this that has all the stickers and then the date dots and more date dots. So I assume that's enough for using the whole planner. 
Now, as you can see on here, it did not come with a cover. It just came plain like this. So here's the brief overview of what it looks like. It has the monthly that's here and then the daily. And then after you're done with three weeks, three, the five weeks, there's a page for that's lined and then an empty and then it goes back into the monthly. And this one is that black foil. So that's okay plants. So that was all the shops. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know there was a lot to go through and I think there will be a part two actually. So when I get the rest of my orders in, I'll definitely be doing a video on that. But I wanted to share all of this just because I wanted to put it away. It's been sitting here for a while, especially with the planner. I just wanted to test it out. I hope you guys will stick around. I'm going to try to do more plan with me's in 2021. But for the rest of this year, I just wanted to take it easy and just to do more planning on my own. As well as figure out what I'm going to do with the different planners that I have just to see what my system will look like next year. And hopefully I'll be making more videos by then. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!